My name is John Fulbright, and I play uh, various keyboards and percussion and sang a bunch of stuff. I was kind of all over the map on the record. My name is Jacob Tovar. I played guitar, backup vocals, and I did a Cliff Beasley song. I picked out if the shoe fits because uh, it's, I'm pretty sure that song was recorded there. And it's about that place. <laughs> That's kind of a meta thing. Um, but yeah, that was a... And I, I, I did an audible kind of at the last minute and recorded a Hoyt Axton song called Jealous Man that we wound up doing in one take, which always feels nice. But I thought the selections were great. They went from obscure to stuff everybody knows, and that's, I thought they did a great job. The song I recorded by Cliff Beasley, I was not familiar with him. Jesse Acock and Brian Horton dug him up somewhere. I don't know, you can't even find that guy on the on Google. You Google him and nothing comes up. So I don't know what happened to his career and where he went, but he was obviously a good honky-tonk singer and songwriter. And So when they presented that song to me, I was excited about it. I'm like, man, I can do this. It's very like I said, a David Dudley type song, Six Days on the Road, and that's right up my alley. Truck driving kind of honky tonk song. I'd heard about Grand Lake uh, for a long time. It was, uh, it was a lot cooler and vibier than I had expected. I didn't know that so many of the records that I uh, really, really like um, were recorded up there. So walking around the place and just kind of feeling it out it was almost, almost as good as being there back in the day. I got to be there when John did Steve Ripley's song. He's, he can do anything, he can be real funky, he can be real honky tonk, he can be anything, but I mean, when you give him a song that can rip your heart out, he'll do it, and that song did. Whoa. And you guys will love this song on the recording. And Steve Ripley wrote it. Steve wrote it, and yeah. that's the whole thing is, and it's a... That's meaningful as well. It's, for you. It's, it's a song, yeah, I mean, it's, it's my buddy Steve. It's literally a song about him uh, going on to the next thing. Yeah. And right after he went on to the next thing. Right. But uh, yeah, there was, I guess, you guys have talked to Jesse and Paul about the, that tape glitch sound that was just subtle enough that and if the, at, I, not, I want to remember exactly where it was, like what line it was or whatever it was in the recording, but everyone just trying to look at each other, like, well, it was just, then it was the fact that it was so subtle that it wouldn't mess up everything else, you know, it was just a little, hey guys, hey kids. <laughs> hey kids. Hey, <laughs> kids. <laughs> this is a snapshot in time. The local music scene is very eclectic. I'm very talented, and it's a city that obviously does not forget its roots and its past, and, uh, and celebrates it, builds on it. Pass, pass, yeah, he just he nailed that, that's perfect, yeah. You know.